Let's build a website to collect customer feedbacks. It will just take a few minutes. Watch your clock. Let's do it now. First, unzip the scooter. Then change the directory name from scooter to our application name, customer service. Initialize application. I'm going to use MySQL database in this demo. Let me copy mysql.jar as instructed by the console screen message. I use a script here. Now let's start the web server. Our customer service website should be up. We can access it now. This is the home page of our customer service website. We need a database table. Let's create a database first. We call the database customer service development. Then create a table called entries. The entries table will hold all customer feedbacks. It has an ID field, which is our primary key. name of the customer, content of the feedback, and timestamp. Good, we have a database. Now let's add some code to access it. We don't need to write any code, just generate. The scaffold code generator generates a complete CRUD operations of a model. Scooter can immediately detect the code and load them. You don't need to restart the web server. There's no turnaround. Let's browse feedbacks now. There's no entry yet. Let me add one. We can edit an entry. This is good. Now let's put security control on the site. We will only allow logging users to browse and edit the feedbacks. How shall we do it? Easy. Just generate. The sign-on generator creates a complete set of logging templates for us. Again, we don't need to restart the web server as Scoot automatically loads any changes. Just refresh the browser. We now have a sign-in link. The default sign-on controller requires us to enter username and password. What would happen if we don't enter anything? And click on sign-in button directly. Scooter is smart. The generated sign-on controller has validations. Let's enter something for login. This is the generated landing page after successful login. We can sign out by clicking on here. This is all very convenient. Now how can we enforce that only login users can browse the feedbacks? Right now, anyone from the internet can browse and update feedbacks. That is easy. Just add a before filter in our entries controller. This is the generated entries controller. That's it. This before filter applies to all actions of the entries controller class. It calls Cyan controller's logging required method before executing any actions. 
Now let me refresh this page. This time, we are required to log in first. Apparently, the before filter we just added is effective. Now we can see the feedbacks. As you can see, there is absolutely no turnaround. Just edit your Java class and then refresh the browser. Scooter is very productive. Now, what if you prefer to see feedbacks instead of entries in the URL? That is also very easy. Just change a resource property. We are going to redefine entries. We add a new property called pass alias to the entries resource. The pass alias property changes the URL. Now entries in the URL would not work. Let me refresh the browser. There's no route for entries. Feedbacks should work. All URLs change to feedbacks. You can click on the route link and see all supported URL patterns. Scooter is very flexible. I hope you enjoy our demo.